Today we will study electron theory of electrification. We have studied that some particles are carrying electric charges and at the same time there were researches going on what happens inside an atom. So in an atom there is one nucleus and there are electrons around it. It was formed when the nucleus was separated from the atom we found it is carrying positive charge. So the net charge on the atom is zero. Net charge on atom is zero and this nucleus is positive. If net charge is zero and nucleus is positive that means all these particles which were separated are carrying negative charge. So all these electrons are carrying negative charge. Now when the study of electron was done it was found that uh, since this is zero there are equal number of electrons equal to the charges which are carrying positive charge and we found that these particles are known as protons. So equal number of electrons and protons are present in an atom electrons are carrying negative and this is carrying positive and this is what we write every atom consists of equal number of electrons in the orbits which have negative charges and equal number of protons in the nucleus which have positive charges okay now we could not get any particle smaller than neutron uh, smaller than electron this is smallest in diameter smallest in mass and smallest in electric charge so the net charge on one electron is the minimum charge and this makes answer of one of very important question which is fundamental charge answer the charge on one electron is a fundamental charge okay fundamental charge what is basic charge the charge on one electron is known as basic charge and how much it is our standard unit of charge is coulomb and which is a very large unit but charge on one electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb because we need it frequently we have given it a symbol small e. Now well, we can also write it uh, negative and positive that is minus e and plus e for proton okay. Then net charge on the atom remember net charge on the atom is zero because there are equal number of protons and electrons. If atom has got charge zero then with the atoms molecules are made zero charge with the molecules any material is made zero charge with the material our complete universe is made. So the net charge of the complete universe is zero because the net charge of atom is zero. Okay now whenever there is a process of rubbing or any other process we have a exchange of electron. How this exchange happens and how this does not happen. If I take this there is a lot of space between electrons like this and I put another object on it so that object electrons go like this. Now if I lift it like this straight then there is no problem but if I want to rub it, rub it means I want to move it like this then there is a tug of war between the two and what will happen either this will break or this will break from this atom and this is exactly what happens. When I put a chalk here, when I put an ink here and I rub it, if I place it like this and lift nothing will happen but the moment I rub it one or the other electron will break and there will be excess electron on one atom and there will be loss of electron in the other atom. Now if there is a excess electron the excess of electron that gives the negative charge to that particular particle. The loss of electron creates a positive charge the deficiency of electron makes positive charge on that particle. So if any body has got negative charge or particle charge the responsibility is 
gone, gone to electron. It is either excess of electron or it is loss of electron. But negative or positive both are due to motion of electron. You can ask why? Why proton is not exchanged? If a proton goes to another atom then that will get positively charged. But practically it does not happen because proton is in the nucleus and outside it is full of electrons. Electrons number two, electrons are light. Their mass is very less and it is easy to move them. You all know the energy we have half mv square. This m mass. If nature has to make negatively charged particle, there are two methods. Remove this plus or add one electron. So nature will choose adding the electron because electron is lightweight and it is very easy to connect electron. Electrons are outside, they are light, therefore a very small energy make them able to shift from one atom to the other atom. Therefore it is only and only electron which is responsible for electrification and this thing I would like to write here that it is only electron. Okay, it is only electron which is responsible for electrification. And what I told you, why not proton? The answer is proton is not mobile due to its heavy mass. How heavier is the proton? So proton is 1837 times heavier than electron. Then nature will always choose a lightweight electron to be moved. So it's only electron which is responsible whether a particle is getting positive charge, negative charge. So remember when I ask you how can we make this particle positive? You will not say that we will shift certain positive charge to it. What will be your answer? We will take out some electron from it. This will become positively charged. This is the method to make any object as positively charged particle. Okay. So this is electron theory, all the seven points and you can remember it. Seven number is not important. You should remember all the points. And if you remember all these points, then it will make all your electricity very clear. Okay, so after this uh, electron theory, we will study what are the effects. One thing I would like to add here before closing that will there be any change in the mass when a body is getting charged? If this is carrying, this is not charged, now this is carrying charge. Is there any change in its mass? It appears that there is no change in the mass. But what does electron theory says? It says it will get negatively charged only if some electrons have entered on it. This is a very very important thing. Unless an electron comes and sits on it, this will not get negatively charged. We cannot give charge without bringing a material with the name electron. So remember always charge is always carried by material. So if you make it negatively charged, one electron has come from outside, sit on it. If you get it positively charged, one material named electron has gone out of it. Now if material is going out and if material is coming in, will there be any change in the mass? Of course, there will be a change. That means whenever we charge a body, there is certain a change of mass. Okay, now neutral, neutral. If we give it negative charge, what will happen to its mass? Will it increase or decrease? Yes, the answer is it will increase. Why? Negative means some excess electron have gone on it and they will increase its mass. 
Okay? If a body gets positive charge, when we rub a glass, it becomes positively charged. What happens to its mass? Very simple answer, how it has become positively charged? Some electrons have gone out. If electrons have gone out, its mass has decreased. So remember, negatively charged body, whenever it goes from zero charge to minus charge, the mass increases and whenever it becomes positively charged, the mass decreases. And this we can count if we know uh, mass of a electron. Then we can always count what is the change in the mass. Okay, so this is, uh, I should write it, charge mass relation. So I will make a note for you and you understand 0 to positive charge. How it is made? Electron leave the body. Mass decrease. And if you want to know uh, mass of electron, which you will uh, see in uh, nucleus, 9.1 10 to the power minus 31 kg. It is such a light thing. So, this is charge and mass relation. Okay, so now in the next class we will see how we divide the different material around us into different categories what we call conductors, uh, insulators, semiconductors and how they behave.